Isaiah chapter sixty-five, the righteousness of God's judgment. I was ready to be sought out by those who did not ask, to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, "Here I am, here I am," to a nation that did not call on my name. I held out my hands all day long to a rebellious people, who walk in a way that is not good. Following their own devices, a people who provoke me to my face continually, sacrificing in gardens and offering incense on bricks, who sit inside tombs and spend the night in secret places, who eat swine's flesh with broth of abominable things in their vessels, who say, "Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you." These are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day long. See, it is written before me, I will not keep silent, but I will repay. I will indeed repay into their laps, their iniquities and their ancestors' iniquities together, says the Lord. Because they offered incense on the mountains, and reviled me on the hills. I will measure into their laps full payment for their actions. Thus says the Lord: As the wine is found in the cluster, and they say, "Do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it," so I will do for my servant's sake, and not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob, and from the Judah inheritors of my mountains. My chosen shall inherit it. And my servants shall settle there. Sharon shall become a pasture for the flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for herds to lie down, for my people who have sought me. But you who forsake the Lord, who forget my holy mountain, who set a table for fortune, and fill cups of mixed wine for destiny, I will destine to you the sword. And all of you shall bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, you did not answer; when I spoke, you did not listen. But you did what was evil in my sight, and chose what I did not delight in. Therefore, thus says the Lord God: My servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry; my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. My servants shall rejoice, but you shall be put to shame. My servants shall sing for gladness of heart, but you shall cry out for pain of heart, and shall wail for anguish of spirit. You shall leave your name to my chosen to use as a curse, and the Lord God will put you to death. But to his servants he will give a different name. Then whoever invokes a blessing in the land shall bless by the Lord of faithfulness, and whoever takes an oath in the land shall swear by the God of faithfulness, because the former troubles are forgotten, and are hidden from my sight. The glorious new creation. For I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating, for I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy, and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it, or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days, or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another habitat, and they shall not plant and another eat.
For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, or bear children for calamity, for they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord, and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall be fed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on my holy mountain, says the Lord. <laughs> 